I'm Jess Davis, I'm a model and influencer and I have a documentary out looking at the world of catfishing and underground forums of trading women's images. When I was 18 I started glamour modelling and pretty much straight away I had people contact me on social media saying that they have been speaking to who they thought was me or someone using my images on dating profiles and social media sites and that was nearly a decade ago and then up until now, I've had hundreds, possibly thousands of people contact me about fake accounts. And I just wanted to find out why, why the people are using my images and exactly where my images are being used. In the documentary, I talked to Walter and he is based in Arizona in America. And he had actually been speaking to someone using my images on Snapchat is where they first met. He'd been speaking to them for roughly four weeks a month and it was every day relentless. And he was saying, you know, he was getting feelings for this person. And then one day he was thinking, mm, is this a bit kind of too good to be true? The person in the images was quite a lot younger than him. He did a Google image reverse search and then found my real Instagram profile and found out that it was a fake profile. And I'd never spoken to anyone kind of face to face before who had actually been catfished by someone using my pictures. So it was a really strange experience, but also humbling because I think a lot of people think, well, how can these people be so naive to believe it? But speaking with Walter in the documentary, it was clear to see that he's just a genuinely nice guy who sees the best in people and doesn't just expect to be scammed online and was out there trying to find love, which I think, especially in lockdown, a lot of people are using online profiles to try and find love. Speaking to Walter, I actually cried on the camera when we were filming, but that didn't get in the documentary just because... I know what it's like to be out there and put yourself out there trying to find someone and I haven't found my, you know, forever someone yet. So to see Walter put himself out there and he said this isn't the first time it's actually happened to him. He thinks that he's had catfishes before but never fully confirmed it. I just felt like it's so sad that there's people out there just happily wanting to scam people out of money when these people are just looking for love i think when you break it down like that it's like how heartless do you have to be to listen to these people tell you how they want kids and get married and then just ask them for money